Hi everybody, Mike from Taste Bud Orgasm Food Blog here. Hey, today we are making Alton Brown's Who Loves Ya Baby Back. Uh, it's a great recipe from what I can tell. Uh, I have not, I have never, ever been disappointed in any of the recipes that I have gotten from Alton. As I said in a previous video, Alton Brown, Giada De Laurentiis, and Ina Garden are my three favorite from the Food Network. Don't get me wrong. They got a lot of great people, a lot of great cooks and chefs there. But those are my three favorite. So, today again we're making, I've got some people coming over here for dinner. We're eating an early dinner today at 4 o'clock. And Who Loves Your Baby Backs are going to be great. I did change his recipe though. Um, he calls for cayenne pepper. I use ancho chili pepper from Pinzi Spices. I like theirs. Certainly you use whatever spice from whatever company you like as personal choice. I'm not a big fan of the cayenne. The ancho chili in my flavor gives a smoky, uh, sometimes a little bit of a chocolatey flavor to the barbecue. And that's what I like about it. The other pepper that I used instead of jalapeno, I used Calabrian chili out of Spice Ace there in San Francisco. This is a wonderful, wonderful pepper, uh, whether it's dried or in a paste, which goes well in a lot of stuff. I use it a lot. So anyway, on to the food here. So you can see we've got the baby backs here. One, I'm just gonna do one, and we've got two others I'm gonna put in here. Here is all of our dried mixture put in together. And before I start, because we are using raw meat, my hands are clean, but just to help out, using clean nitrile gloves. These happen to be nice and blue, and they work out well. So you just grab a bunch of the seasoning, put it on, rub it in. Flip it over, same thing again. Normally you would fix this ahead of time and let this sit in the refrigerator for an hour. Unfortunately, due to today's schedule, I was not able to do that. Doesn't matter. They will still come out great. Now, that's good to go. Get these off. And what we're gonna do is make a little tent. I learned about tinfoil cooking when I was in the Boy Scouts. It's a great way to cook, and you uh, capture all the flavors inside the tinfoil. Now I'm not going to fold this end up just yet because I do have liquid to put in, and we'll, when I get the other three racks ready to go, I will show you the liquid from there. So stand by. Okay, so it's time to put the braising liquid in. It went in the microwave for one minute. And this is a double recipe. Normally the recipe is for two racks of ribs. I have three here, as you can tell. So I'm going to try to do my best to distribute this braising liquid evenly. And then we'll be going into a hot oven. And well, they're cooked two and a half to three hours. When you use tin foil, you want to make sure that they seal up really well. Again, as I mentioned, you can uh, do tin foil cooking on the grill. That's a great way to cook. If you want to teach children how to cook, it's a safe way to cook. Especially like if you want to do hamburgers, you can put potatoes in there, other stuff. Whatever you want in there, and it's a great way to cook. Tilt it so that the liquid gets evenly distributed and into a 250 degree oven for two and a half hours. And we'll see you in about two and a half hours.